Lights, camera, action. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video today, ladies and gentlemen. And in today's video, we are gonna take some pictures. As you guys do know, one of the things I enjoy and love doing is taking pictures and modeling. So I kinda wanna take you guys, you know, come take some pics with me, baby. I'm gonna show you guys the fit, where I'm taking the pics, how I take the pics, and the outcome, baby. So I'm really, really excited for you guys to come along the journey with me to take some pictures. If you check out the gram, you can see all the pictures I've ever taken right up there. I really, really enjoy sharing them on Instagram, on TikTok, on Snapchat, and all those apps. I really, really enjoy it. If you ever wanna take pictures yourself, dude, here's a perfect three-step formula, okay? Find an outfit that you're gonna really enjoy wearing that makes you feel amazing. Find a place that you know would go with the outfit. And put a smile on your face, bro. It's super, super fun to go and take some pictures, so I suggest anyone, everyone try it, bro. And it's always good to have a bunch of pictures, you know what I mean? So I always suggest having a checklist before going to take your pictures and all that. And what I mean by checklist is you want to be perfect on the money with getting it done. Now, what I mean by perfect is perfect in execution. And so create a checklist. So my personal checklist, for example, for this shoe is making sure the face is cleanly shaved, eyebrows are done, and hair is done. So as you can see, we are clean shaved. The eyebrows, thank goodness, are great. And now we gotta put the hair together. The way I like to do the hair is completely wet it, right? And then we're gonna dry it up and then style it whatever way I want. So sometimes I like to go just straight to the right or I'll just like kind of mess with it and see and go along with it to see what really is flowing. You know, I just want it to, I just want it to look good as be. I just want it to look as perfect as possible. So step one, wet the hair. Step two, let's dry it up. After we're nice and dry, step three, I like to put in some leave-in conditioner into my hair. Leave-in conditioner for me is so much better than gel, because gel, like, leave-in conditioner, you can still move it around even after you've applied it. Once gel is dry, you gotta wash it out and do it all over again to get the style you want. So boom, we've got a brand new case of leave-in conditioner. Shabooptis. All right, all right, all right, just like that. And we're gonna run it through the hair just to get it everywhere before creating the design that we want. And after you've got it through all of your hair basically, that's when you wanna start shaping it and designing your hair. So, boom. After you've messed around a bit, this is what you should come out to. You should come out to the hairstyle that you want. Now it does take time to perfect a quick hairstyle maneuver like I have perfected, but this is the style we're rocking with for the pictures. So checklist number one is 100% perfected. Now it's for checklist number two, and that is your outfit and accessories. You don't want to miss out, okay? You want to make sure you have the right clothes on and the accessories that go with it, because you don't want to start taking pictures and be like, oh my gosh, where's my watch? This is why we have this checklist, baby. So we have, like I said, all the right clothing and all the right accessories on to make the most of these pics, all right? So for this fit, we're going to go these dark blue jeans Boom, as you can see, very, very nice. These are like a slim fit, all right? And with that, one of the accessories we're going with is a nice watch. And then for the top, I'm gonna go a taupe, half zip kind of style t-shirt. Boom, the material on this is really, really nice, right? It's pretty, it's like an athletic con kind of deal. Very, very nice shirt. Let's throw it on. Is the fit ladies and gentlemen now sometimes with the leaving conditioner boom as you can see it can get loose that's the only thing about leaving conditioners you need to put the right amount or it'll just like kind of be a little weird and loose so we're gonna go just a little bit more and do it again so go through the hair and restyle it now 
now that step one is complete, step one, finding an outfit that you feel good in, because obviously the key about this is to feel amazing about yourself. So step one is to find an outfit you feel good in. Step two is to find a local mind, a location. Because the location is is the other, like, you know, 50-ish, 40, 50-ish percent that makes the picture, obviously. So uh, find a location that really suits you and the outfit. So for something like this, whoa, whoa. Ah, sorry, sorry. Uh, for something like this, you know, some nature kind of vibe, greenery, I think would go really, really good with it. So we're headed to like a parkish kind of area to see if we can get some dope pics and then fit like this. I think this was, I think this would also go with like a city-ish kind of thing, don't you think? I think it could also go with a city kind of background. Uh, but with city, it's so like, it's so like, you need the perfect fit, right? Because with city, you can either go streetwear or you can go like sophisticated or you can go classy with streetwear. But we're trying to do something different, mate. Aside from the location and the outfit, I really think what makes a picture is confidence, okay? Like, I'm serious. Start becoming confident in yourself. Obviously, it's much, 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 much easier said than done, but I promise you, you can become so much more confident in yourself when you're being true to yourself and not lying to yourself about who you are and just being real with yourself about who you are, you know what I mean? And bettering yourself. I think another really big thing that, you know, can really grow confidence is the fact that you know that you're bettering yourself every day, whether it be, you know, knowledge, physical, mental, in all areas, if you know you're getting better, your confidence in that area raises up. The confidence thing that you know ties into the outfit part is, oh my gosh, the Escalade limo, that's freaking humongous. Why do they even make those things? Anyways, um, one of the big things that ties into confidence with your outfit is finding something that you feel good in. And I really, I'm making that in a, like a dotted fact because you, if you feel good in what you're wearing, I promise you the confidence will shoot through the roof. If you feel weird or you feel like this is really like not my style, that's completely okay. Find a style that works with you. And bro, you may go through a hundred outfits trying to find a style that works with you and that's okay. But the goal is to find the clothes that really fit with you to also elevate that confidence. No, so, gains check in the fit. <sighs> And also, if you're really, really shy when it comes to taking pictures and things like that, guys, it's it's definitely a marathon and not a sprint. I heavily believe it's something you build up with becoming, you know, confident in who you are. So you just gotta keep on doing it and doing it and doing it, and soon that shyness will turn into confidence. Yo, yo, we at the park. Uh, okay, so the really cool thing about parks is they stay pretty green year round, you know what I'm saying? Um, and that is a really, really good thing because right now, obviously, it's like winterish time. So, you know, usually like gardens and things like that. A lot of the flowers aren't in season, but like obviously, like grass, alhamdulillah, is green, you know, year round. So, we're going to use that to our advantage. Deciding where to take pictures, I always suggest taking a bunch of pictures in different spots to see where you're like you know, where your best, where the best picture is gonna come out of, all right? So even if that means you gotta take a while to take them, do it, bro, because literally any spot could be your spot. So it is the next day, ladies and gentlemen, after the photo shoots. We ended up taking a bunch of pics, and when I told you that you'd be ready to find the perfect spot, we were boop, 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 all over the map trying to find the perfect spot, and alhamdulillah, we did, and we took a bunch of pictures. Like I said, take a ton of pictures, 100, 200, even, I don't know about 1,000, but if that's what you wanna do, do it, right? Eat, just to get that one, two, or even 10 pics, take a ton of pics until you get the one that you absolutely love. And yo, here's how they turned out. For me, it is always super, super fun to go and do those things. Like I said, give it a try, hit the three-step plan, find clothes that make you feel amazing, make you feel confident, find a location that goes with that or a location that you wanna go to, and then three, bring a smile, baby, and take those dang pics. Really, really, give it a try. But that is it for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. If you're new here, give the boy a thumbs up and a subscribe. If you're old here, 
Give the boy a thumbs up. You know I always, always appreciate it. And quote of the video, success isn't the result of arrogance. Success is the result of belief. And what that means is success always starts with the fact that you believe in yourself and you believe in your abilities to get it done. So believe in yourself and I promise you in whatever it is you wanna do, you will be successful with hard work, prayer, and consistency, baby. But that is it for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. See you guys in the next video.